Well, good morning. Today, we're going to do a beach body workout. Imagine that you're on a beach and all you have is your resistance band. So what I want you to do here is take your shoulders and rotate them back. Take a nice deep breath in. You're gonna take that band right to your heart and then extend it open and drive right back up. Now really think about lengthening your spine and creating as much space in that posterior chain as you can. That's the back part of your body as you reach. You're opening and then driving up. One more time, push it away. Now push it down, exhale and lengthen. Inhale, exhale. Now try to keep that pressure in your heels as you hinge and reach forward. So you're increasing that space through the spine. One more time in those hamstrings. Very good. So we're gonna add a little bit of a rotation. So I'm gonna keep my feet hip distance apart. Rotate left, right, exhale. Now I just want you to gently pull in the direction that you're rotating towards. Tuck that elbow back and exhale. Just a few more times side to side. Now, as we rotate, we're gonna drive the elbow towards the opposite knee. Now I wanna use that resistance band and pull in the direction and then resist with the opposite hand. So I'm resisting with my left and pulling with the right. Exhale. Upper body completely rotating. Four more. Three. Two. One more time. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. Shoulders away from your ears. Exhale. One. Two. Three. Pull with your left, resist with your right. Exhale. Five. Six. That's the way. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more now. And relax it. Take your shoulders and roll them back. Take them and roll them forward. Okay, so resistance band is going to come in half. First exercise for the arms. So I could either step both feet here in the middle, or I could take one foot and walk it through. If my band is too small, I walk one foot through in the forward. Now, I want to have relatively close to the center, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, but just close so that you can lengthen both sides of your arms. So rotate the shoulders away from your ears, keep your abs pulled in tight. So we're gonna do a little bit of a compound move and I'll show you what it looks like. So I go side, front, upright row, rotate my palms, overhead press, and then I shoot it away and pull it back in. So side, front, without shrugging the shoulders here, upright row, overhead press, palms away from me, pushing out. So lateral raise, Swing to front raise. Come to upright row. Exhale overhead without shrugging the shoulders and then drive it away. Side raise. Front raise. Upright row. Overhead press. Exhale, shoot it away. Let's go four more times. Side, front, upright, over, lengthen. Side raise. Front raise, abs in, upright row, overhead press. Two more times. Side raise, abs in, upright row, overhead, lengthen and push. One more time. Side raise, front raise, upright row, overhead press, and relax. Great job. I'm going to roll those arms back. Take a nice deep breath in, and then I'm gonna roll my neck. Now those legs here, I mean, I'm gonna warm up the legs. The upper body now is warm. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and warm up that lower body with a little bit of a balance move. So again, I wanna take that band close to the middle, okay? In my right foot, my left foot's gonna be behind. So what we're gonna do here is as we lengthen our upper body forward, I'm gonna hinge from my hip, keep my abs pulled in tight. I've got the resistance band on either side. I want you to lengthen from here. You can add a little bit of a row if you want to, just coming from your knee towards your hip when we come forward, or you can just focus on your balance. So I'm gonna go ahead here and step back here with my left foot, shoulders away from my ears. Now I'm rather tight with my resistance band, so when I come forward, I don't have a whole lot of loose band at the end. So nice deep breath in. I'm gonna hinge here, row, stand back up. So hinge, row, two. Lengthen your spine, lift your heel. Three, if you just wanna focus on your balance, then don't worry about moving the arms, just lift your leg. Exhale, now focus on driving your heel to the ceiling, keeping your neck in neutral and your abs pulled in. So as I press through that front heel, we work that glute medius, exhale, inhale. Beautiful, three more. Lengthen, abs in nice and tight. Let's go one more time. Now, I want you to challenge your balance and just hold it, okay? So neck in neutral, find your focal point. We're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight. I'm trying to lengthen and lift that back leg as high as I can. Lengthen, neck in neutral. Three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna straighten out that front leg lengthen my spine and drive my chin towards my toe. Big stretch there. Inhale. Exhale. I'm gonna remove that from there and I'm gonna take it underneath the other foot. Okay, so same idea here. <clears throat> Neck in neutral, abs in tight. Find your focal point. You can simply work on the balance or you can add the row. Nice inhale. Ready? Exhale. One. Lengthen. Two. Take your time. Three. Don't want to lift my band. I'm just going to isolate. Four. Inhale. Exhale, is my heel leading or my hips parallel to the floor? Five more times, exhale, four more, three more, two more, and one more time. Now, just finding that focal point, let's practice that balance, you guys. Ready? Lengthen and lift. One, two, three. Is your neck in neutral? Four, keep that hip parallel. Six, eight, and relax it. Very good, so that leg was harder for me today. Sometimes our balance is really good, and other days, it's not. So take a deep breath in, drive the chin towards the knee, towards the heel, lengthen the spine. Fantastic, let's remove the band. We're gonna come down to the floor, and now make sure the middle body is warm, okay? So as I release my seat and come to the floor, my first move here is I'm gonna roll back and roll into a side V. So the way that I could modify this would be to drive down to my forearm, rotate to my side, lift from here, neck in neutral, and then come back up, okay? 
So the move is, when I get started, is to try to lift my shins up if I can. I'm gonna come back for three. One, two, three. Now, is your neck in neutral as you hold on to your side? Can you lift both feet off of the floor? Abs in. As I rotate back, I can use my arm to push me back up. So I'm going to show you here if I can do the advanced move. Is one, two, open. Find the center here without letting the hand touch the floor. Pull back in and then drive those knees up. So if I need to bring my feet to the floor or my hand to the floor, that's what I'm going to do. So nice inhale, back three. One, to open, nice deep breath in, neck in neutral. Rotate back to the middle and tuck the knees in. One, two, three, abs in. Now maybe I wanna use my hand as I rotate. So I come back, use my hand, push myself up and bring my feet back to the floor. Three, two, three, open, abs in, pull back. Exhale it out. One, two, reach. Open, find that center of balance here. Pull it back. One, two, three. Open. Now maybe it's really bony on your bum, so you can rotate a little bit open to the side if need be. Pull those knees in if it doesn't work. Try rolling up. If rolling up doesn't work, you use your hand. Let's do three more. One, two, Three, open, nice deep breath in, neck in neutral. Roll back, use your hand if you need to to pop it up. Let's go two more times. Maybe I want to use my hand the whole time. Reach, one, two, pull back up. Here we go, last time. One, two, three, open to the side, neck in neutral, and exhale, lift it. Drop those feet, interlace, C curve with the spine. Awesome work. Let's go ahead here and take a nice inhale. And as we exhale, drive those knees away from us. So a nice big circle, external rotation of our hip. And then rewind it the other way. Feel that space here in the legs. Trace those knees out. Now, tabletop your shins, open up your arms to a T. Both knees here are gonna travel to that side. I'm gonna open up my arms here and lengthen. Now, optional would be to lengthen my top leg. So if I open that up, I could roll my ankle. I could rewind it. I could even hug that knee in. So you adjust this so this stretch works well for you. Opening up the low back, the shoulder, the glute. This tells you where you have that tension. So we're just going to rotate to the other side, tabletop. I'm trying to open up and reach through my fingertips. Optional length in my top leg. Roll my ankle. Rewind it. And then hug that knee in. Nice deep breath. I'm going to feel that space there in my hip my shoulder, and then I'm gonna come back to the middle. Now we gotta roll back and do the other side, okay? So from here, I'm just gonna rotate the other way. Anytime you guys need a drink, I want you to take it. I have my greens today that I'm drinking, I'm trying to do that every morning. Nutrating the body, you guys. Hydrating the body, that's key. So as we come back, shoulders away from the ears. Now, if I need to, as I drive back, I rotate on my side, my elbow stays to the floor, my neck still stays in neutral. I lift up my top leg, my bottom leg can stay. I can roll back in and sit it up. Level two, maybe here I'm comfortable rolling back, opening to my side, maybe I can lift up my bottom leg even. But once I come to, to rotate back, I use that hand to help me up. Level three, open. Now I'm going to try to really lift up those shins parallel. One, two, open, side. I'm trying not to touch my hands or my feet to the floor. Take that big breath in. As I rotate back, I'm going to try to drive those shins up. One, two, open. 
Hollow body, open and lengthen on the side. Find that center of balance, pull the belly in, rotate back, exhale it up. You use your hands here. One, two, reach, rotate, deep breath in. If I need to use that hand, I drive my hand down and reach it up. One, two, reach, open, abs in nice and tight. Is that neck in neutral? Inhale, exhale, drive it up, you guys. Five, two, reach, open. Feel that strength here in the side of your obliques. Pull it back in, lift it up. Maybe I'll use my hands. One, two, three. I can keep my bottom leg down. My bottom arm can be anchoring. I can rotate up, sit up, and use my hands. One, two, reach, rotate. Abs pulled in nice and tightly. Pull back in. Now let's go ahead for two more. One, two, reach, and open, finding that center, engaging those abs. Inhale, back, exhale, pop it up. One more, one, two, reach, big inhale. Rotate it back and drive it up. Interlace those hands, see curve with the spine. Awesome job. Okay, so next we're going to flip over. So we're going to go with some crouching tigers. We're going to hold on the forearms, okay? So from this position, I can work my quadriceps, my abs, as well as my shoulders. I'm going to curl my toes under, press to the forearms, and then just gently lift the knees off the floor. From here, we're going to hold for five seconds, and then we're going to push open into a dolphin pose. Now I'm trying to open up the back part of my body. So another option is to hold from the palms, keep your neck in neutral, hover for five, and then push back downward facing dog. So I'm gonna go half and half. I'm gonna start on my forearms first, abdominal muscles in, elbows under the shoulder, neck in neutral. Now as you lift up your knees, try to lift just a few inches off of the floor. Now pull your abs in, and feel that strength in your core and your quads. Three, two, one, open up dolphin. Now feel that space in the back part of your body. Inhale and exhale. Now I'm hovering those knees again. Deep breath in, three, two, one, exhale. Feel that length in the back part of the body. Ready, repeat it again, three, two, one, pop it up, deep breath in now, hover, abs in, neck in neutral, three, two, one. I'm gonna do one more of my forearms, then I'm gonna switch to my palms. You guys have a choice to try both. Three, two, one, open. Take a moment, drop to your knees, push back and lengthen your spine. Now feel that space between your tailbone and your fingers. Nice deep breath in. If it doesn't work for your hips to come low, you can come into a puppy pose. You're still lengthening your spine, but your hips are higher. So now I'm gonna take my palms under my shoulders and repeat that move from my palms instead of my forearms. Neck in neutral, hover hold. Abs in, three, two, and one. Now I'm shooting back to a down dog. I'm pressing through the thumb of the first finger, lengthening that spine. Here we go, hover. Is my neck in neutral? Are my abs in? Are my knees almost touching the floor? Three, two, and one. Shoot the energy through the back part of your body. Open up your hamstrings. Ready, repeat. Neck in neutral. Abs in, three, two, and one, shoot it back. Let's go two more times. Now you're, imagine that you're just on your hands and knees. Your knees are under your hips, your palms under your shoulders. Two, one, pop it back. One more time, now let's make it count. Inhale and exhale, three, two, and one, and lengthen that spine, bicycle the feet, Deep breath in, 
and then drop to the knees, come to a cat cow. So tuck your chin into your chest, open up your heart. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Increase that range of motion in your spine. Fantastic. Now from here, I'm gonna step forward with my right foot. So take that right foot forward. Now I can keep my back knee on the floor as I rotate into my knee like so, or I can lengthen my back leg if that's comfortable. So I'm gonna try to lengthen both arms and reach them all the way from here in one line. Now I can look up towards my hand. I can look directly in front of me. I can also look down to the floor. We just don't want to hyperextend that neck. I want you to feel comfortable here in the neck. Inhale. Rotate back to the middle. Now I'm going to try to straighten this leg. If I need to, I drop my foot, lengthen my leg, and maybe this is as far as it goes. If I can, I'm lengthening and contracting. I can have my toe down or my toe up. My neck is in neutral, my chin is coming towards my toe. Inhale. And exhale. Relax that back down. Now I'm gonna switch feet. Inhale, exhale. Now remember, I can keep my back knee down as I rotate. I can also lengthen, light up my arms and take a nice deep breath in. I'm rotating my chest towards my knee. If I can straighten my leg from here, I lengthen it back. If not, I drop my foot. I open up over the top of this is better. Nice inhale, feel that space there in the hamstring. Now I'm just going to take my back foot and I'm going to step it forward, hinging from my hip, neck in neutral, abs in, soft knee, roll up for three, two, and one. Shoulders away from the ears. Fantastic. All right, so now you're warm up, your body is nice and warm. We're going to go ahead from here and we're going to step forward with our right foot. So I'm taking my band again in the middle, okay? In the center is ideal, okay? Now we're gonna use both the upper and lower body at the same time. But this time what I'd like you guys to do, we're working the balance and the coordination as well here as opening up the hips, strengthening the legs, the glutes, and the biceps. Pretty sure that's everything, but there's always more. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go hip distance, you're gonna drop your back knee. Now I need to make sure my feet are hip distance apart. If I try to come to a lunge and see how close my legs are, I'm gonna feel off balance. So if I have a nice steady base here where I can keep my feet hip distance, this helps with my balance. Now I can bicep curl like this. But what I'm gonna do here is drive my back foot up, lengthen my leg, and then curl, and then step back. So I want you to feel like you have enough resistance to do a curl at the bottom and the top, okay? So neck in neutral, shoulders away from your ears. Sink your back knee down, bicep curl, pop up, front snap kick, bicep curl again, step back through. Curl, step through, and curl, two. Exhale, inhale, exhale, that's the way. Curl, drive through, front snap kick. Here we go. Curl, drive through, front snap kick. Abs in, exhale it up, inhale, exhale it up. Four more. Neck in neutral, abs in. Three more. Curl, inhale, exhale two more times. Curl. Let's do it one more time. Curl and step that back, lengthening the leg and hinging from the hip. Now I want to keep this position so I'm opening up my legs 
and I'm going to walk up here as far as I can, and I'm going to row to my hip. One, two, three, and four. Keep your neck in neutral, your abs in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stand up for a moment. You should have a decent amount of resistance here. Now, mini pulses. Hinge from your head. Keep your abs pulled in. Mini pulses. One, two, three, four. Are the abs in? Is the back nice and flat? Five, four, three, two, and one. Great work. I'm going to let that band go. And then I'm going to switch feet and come to the other foot. Okay, so now other foot's forward, neck and neutral, abs are in. So again, when I start, I need my feet to be hip distance. We're working that balance. I want to be tight enough here so that when I come up, I have my bicep curl. I'm taking that back leg, sneaking it through. Okay, now I realize that balance here can be a challenge. Make sure that my mat straight so I don't trip. Okay, so then as I come through, the knee comes up, I curl it again, and then I step back again. I'm trying to step back to that hip distance. If I need to take a moment, adjust my balance, that's fine. Ready? Deep breath in. Curl and front snap kick. One, curl. Now I'm trying to curl at the top. Two, curl, inhale. And three, inhale, exhale as you curl up. Inhale, exhale as you lengthen. Abs in. That's it. And let's do it now. Curl. Here we go. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Fantastic. Curl and front snap. Three to go. Curl. Two more. Let's do it one more time, you guys. Curl. Now I'm going to step that foot back, lengthen my spine. I'm really feeling that nice stretch of my front leg as I do my row. So nice deep breath in. I can soft my back leg, keep the front leg straight or keep both straight. Row, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep those abs pulled in tight, seven, eight, Nine, one more, stand up tall. Try to keep your elbows close to your sides and open up your heart and squeeze your shoulder blades together. 10 minis, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, very good. So we're gonna come down to the floor now. We're gonna work here into a single leg push up, adding the glutes, as well as the biceps, the abs, and the shoulders. All right, so from here, I'll show you from the front. As I rotate first, if I have my fingertips away from me, this is not a traditional push up, you're on one knee. So technically it's easier, but we're working more body parts. So if I have from here my fingers away, I find my center here of balance and I lift up my left leg. So as you're facing me, I say the opposite just so you know, that way you can mirror me. So as you drop down, my head comes down, my knee comes down. And when I come up, I'm popping that leg up. So from the side here, nice deep breath in, balancing on my opposite knee, pop it up, bring it down. One. Inhale, exhale two, three, and four. Now five, exhale six, and seven. Exhale eight, 
Exhale, nine, one more. Take a quick little rest. Same knee is down. The only thing that's changing is I'm gonna do a mini pulse. So I'm gonna keep my head closer to the floor, but I'm gonna pop that knee up as high as I can and pulse. One, two, three, four, neck in neutral, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Now I'm gonna push back here, reach my fingers in front of me, and really lengthen that spine. If you come to that puppy pose, or you can come to the happy baby pose and really lengthen. You guys decide which is best. Big inhale, feel that space between the hips and your fingertips. Open. Cat cow, tuck the chin, open the heart. Neck here, drive into the chest. And again, you wanna be comfortable. So maybe just neutral spine is good for you, but we're trying to increase that range of motion in the spine. Now, the second knee, the only thing that's gonna change here, my fingertips are going to face in towards each other. So when I do a push up with my fingers in, my triceps get activated. Here, the biceps get activated, okay? So now we're facing in. If it does not work, rotate those hands up, okay? So shoulders away from your ears. From the side, fingertips in. I'm finding my center of balance. I'm switching knees. I'm on the other side. So now forehead down, knee down, pop it up, inhale, exhale. One, two, three, squeeze your glute, four, exhale, five. Now try to find that balance here, six, on that knee if you can, seven, if you need to put a pillow under your knee, eight, nine, one more, and 10. If your wrist doesn't feel right, your hands can go straight or you can rotate them out. We've got 10 mini pulses. The head is gonna stay lower. Now, just because my fingers are in, they don't have to be touching. They can come out wide. The wider my hands, the less I have to come down. So feel free to adjust that so you can still get the triceps into it. So nice deep breath in, head, head down, knee down. Now I'm gonna take that knee and lift it as high as I can and pulse it. One, two, three, four. Now push with your triceps. Five, six, squeeze your glutes, seven to the ceiling. Eight, nine, abs in, and 10. Push back here, puppy pose. Now I'm gonna thread the needle. I'm gonna take my right hand, bring it under, relax to my ear inside of the head, I can sink my hips back if that is comfortable. If not, I stay up in my puppy pose, give myself as much space as I need, opening up through my shoulder, and then I'm gonna to switch to the other side. Reach through, nice inhale. I relax to the ear and the side of the head. If I have that flexibility in the shoulder, deep breath in. Wonderful job. Very good, so we're gonna push back, downward facing dog, and lengthen. Shake that nonsense out of your head. How many times do we tell ourselves we can't do something, okay, when in reality, we're supposed to do something every day that scares us. So the goal is to try something new that scares you so that you grow. So if we don't ever try something and we don't fail, we don't know, right? But then we also don't grow. Now, speaking of growing here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come to a mountain climber. Now, if a mountain climber doesn't work for me, there's other ways I can do it. I can come to my forearm, I can pipe my hips up higher, I can pull one knee in, or I can take my forearms on a chair or a couch. That way my body is higher and I have more room for my knees to come in. Doesn't work on my forearm, on my palms, forearms on a higher object that's comfortable. All right, so if I'm on my mat, I like to take my feet off of it. That way the mat does not get crumpled in as I drive my foot in. So my neck is in neutral, my abs are pulled in. My palms are under my shoulders. So right here, I should be in a plank position, okay? So my hips technically are not in a down dog, okay? They're neck in neutral, abs in. 
From here, I'm going to go 10 times with my left knee rotating in first, then the right. 10, 9, 8. Now I'm trying to pull that knee in as far as I can. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down dog. If I need to, I go to a child's pose. Now I'm going to lead with the other knee, okay? So deep breath in. A length position. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, and down dog again. Lengthen your spine. Fantastic. All the way back. Wonderful. Okay, so now utilizing the band to really isolate and use those glutes. I can do this with or without the band. If I don't have a resistance band, I can come to my forearms. I can push my heel all the way back. Inhale and exhale, keeping my neck in neutral, fighting gravity and lifting my leg, you guys, higher than the hip. So I can come here, okay? But I want to try to lift higher right here. Now I can utilize my resistance band to make it harder. So go ahead here and take my Right foot forward, left foot forward. You guys decide. Okay, so the second side is harder. So if you have a weaker side, start with that. All right, so the abs are pulled in nice and tight. I can come to my forearms. I can come down here to the forearms or I can stay on my palms. We're gonna go 10 times. Watch that you don't sink your upper body. And then from here, your abs don't sink in. You're engaging your abs and really having a nice frame here with strong arms and a strong core and your neck in neutral. So from here, I'm gonna go 10 times and I'm gonna kick that leg, if I can, higher than my hip. Now it's easier if I come down lower with my head for me to angle my leg up higher. All right, so abs in, nice inhale. One, two, Three, try to lock it. Four, five, as you exhale. Six, squeeze your glute. Seven, eight, nine, one more. Give that a quick little rest. Many pulses, they're gonna be faster and I'm not gonna let that resistance come all the way back in. Nice deep breath in, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that foot higher than your glute? Eight, nine, and relax it, you guys. Now we're gonna keep that band, same foot, exactly where it is. The only thing I'm gonna do is transfer to the side and lie down. Okay, so now the band is on my top foot and I'm lying on my side. So what we're gonna do here, buns to the back, feet to the front. Now I could keep my upper body up like this and I can circle. Generally, my leg will not come as high. Okay, I also won't be engaging as much here because it's easier for me to sink into this. So what I wanna try to do if I can is lengthen my body, but take my arm just rested underneath the ear and lift the oblique up. So as it doesn't matter if the oblique is touching the floor, but if I can lift up from here and engage the ab, that's my goal. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna trace here a circle. So I'm gonna take my arm and pin right in front of my abs that band down. As I drive my leg forward, I'm gonna try to open it as far as I can and not let the rest of my body move. Inhale. Exhale. So as I come front to back, if I keep my abs pulled in, okay, then I'm not going to allow my body to rotate front to back. So open, exhale back, inhale forward. Five, six, seven, eight, abs in, nine, one more time, and ten. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna rewind that circle, okay? So again, obliques lifted, shoulders lined up, abs in, 
And as I kick back, I'm trying not to let the upper body come forward. I'm trying to square it off here. Bring it back and pull it in. One, two, and three. Up to you. How big can you make that circle? Four, open. Five, six, that's it. Trace it. Seven, hold the body steady, you guys. Abs in. Eight, two more. Nine, one more time. And 10, wonderful work. Let's go ahead here, take a moment onto the back and lengthen that leg. So I'm gonna stretch out this leg. So what I'm gonna do here is keep it in the same foot that in my donkey kick in my circles with, and I'm gonna open it to the side. Now, I can go ahead here and bend my opposite leg, or I can try to lengthen it and keep it pinned to the floor. So I'm opening up here, 90 degree angles, both legs. So I wanna keep both legs activated. Take a nice deep breath and shoot the energy out of both heels. Take a nice deep breath here. And then as I drive my foot up, I'm gonna switch hands, keep it in the same leg. And now I'm gonna try to drive it over. Maybe this is as far as it goes. I could bend my knee and try to bring it further. I could also keep it straight if I have that flexibility and really lengthen between my heel and that same fingertip, but it's rotated to the other side. So nice deep breath in. I'm opening up down the IT band. This can feel really tight. So I could bend my knee. I could lengthen. I can go back and forth. Take that big inhale. Great job. Soft knee. I'm going to return back here to my back. Take the resistance behind the knee and just drive that knee down towards the chest. Nice deep breath. Now I'm gonna lengthen that leg to the ceiling and I'm gonna reach it just to a 45 degree behind me. So I'm gonna open and shoot that energy here away. And then we're gonna do the same thing you guys on the other side. We're gonna start with our butts, okay? With our bends. So go ahead and remove the band. If I cannot roll up, I roll to my side and then I gently push myself up. All right, so let's uh, switch sides. All right, so now other foot comes forward. Again, in the middle, if I'm using my band and then I walk that back, I wanna make sure the band is straight and flat right here in my foot so it doesn't fling back and hit me in the face for the butts, okay? So my neck is a neutral. Remember, I can come down to my forearms, but I really have to hold the integrity of the spine. So we're gonna exhale, lift as high as the hip. One, two, three, squeeze it. Four, five, where are those abs? Six, pull right into your spine. Seven, arms strong. Eight, buns tight. Nine, one more. Quick little rest now. Abs in, 10 little pulses. Ready? Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3, and 2, one more, and 1. Wonderful job. I'm keeping that band right where it is, and I'm rotating to the side. I still have it in the center of that foot. I'm gonna go ahead and come on all the way over. Now remember, I can stay here. I can add my circle, it just will not be as big. I'm gonna take my buns to the back, open up, lift my oblique, relax my head here, in the hand if this is comfortable. Now my feet are slightly rotated forward. The band here has enough resistance right at the center of my body. So from here, we're gonna go back, to the front. So don't let your body fall forward as your leg comes back. Three, trace the circle. Four, that's the way. Five, inhale and exhale. Six, seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Take a moment, relax. 
And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rewind it, okay? So take that big breath in, bring it up, bring it back, one. Keep those abs pulled in tightly, two. And three, four, that's the way. Five, nice strong hip here, six. Exhale, seven, glute minimus, eight, two more. Nine, one more time. And 10, great work. I'm gonna go ahead on my back here, lengthen my leg. I can keep my opposite knee bent. I can lengthen it. And then I'm gonna open it all the way to that side. So big breath in. Now, sometimes people like to have an object with which they can hold their leg and keep it supported. That's, you could use a foam roller, you could use a couch, you could use a little bench. Take a nice deep breath in, flexing both of the feet, opening up, thinking of a 90 degree angle here. Inhale and exhale. Now I'm gonna take that leg up, keep it in the same leg, switch my hands now. And then if I come to about here, it becomes too tight. I soften my knee if I need to. I'm gonna lengthen, open up all the way down the IT band. So starting at the fingertip, coming from the shoulder all the way down the side, shooting that energy right out of your heel. Deep breath in. Don't worry so much about the opposite leg. Your opposite knee can bend if it feels better for you. Deep breath in, contract and lengthen if you can. Nice inhale, energy out of that heel of the banded leg. Now I'm gonna rotate onto my back again, hug my knee in, grab onto my resistance band, and just try to bring my knee down towards my shoulder. Nice inhale, nice exhale. This is a partial happy baby pose. So now I'm gonna lengthen that leg and then I'm gonna try to shoot it to a 45 degree angle behind me. Not very big, but just enough to kind of get a little different angle here in my stretch. Opening up through the hamstring, nice inhale. Ooh, wonderful job, very good. So now if I can roll up, I will. Otherwise I'm gonna roll onto my side. But to show you an exercise that you could do adding a roll, you would bend your knees in and you could roll and you could lengthen your legs, okay? So you could use the band to do this. Now, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and lean back and still hold this resistance band. It is around both of the feet. So when you use a resistance band, you wanna check periodically that you don't have any holes in it. So if I take the band and separate it, a little bit in different places, and you can see if there's tiny little holes in it. You wanna make sure that that doesn't snap and hit you, okay? All right, so as I hold from here, shoulders away from the ears, I'm gonna lean back. I could have a pillow, I could have a ball, if that works. I'm gonna lift up my shins here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push those legs out, lengthen, and then drive the knees in. I could do one leg at a time if I can't do two. One. Abs in, exhale, two, three, four. You're contracting your quadriceps. Five, keeping your neck in neutral. Abs in, this is a boat pose, okay? So you're still able to open to that boat. You have a little more support though with the band. Four, three, two, one. Now try to hold it for me. I can relax my elbows, I can lift them up and engage it. Abs in, contract the quads. Add a little mini. One, two, three, and four. Tiny movement, you can just hold it. And five, and four. Squeeze three, and two, and one. I'm gonna lengthen and open. Now I wanna imagine that my chin can come to my toes. We're gonna go with one more tricep move here, you guys. Now, sometimes people feel like their arms are too long to do this. Because what the move is, I hinge from my hip and I kick back, okay? If that doesn't work, I would do my tricep extension on my knees. Let's just do 10 of these and we'll do the one on the knee anyways. So let's hinge from the hip, 
Take a deep breath in. Imagine the chin coming to your toe. Lock your legs. Lift up your arms here as high as your chest. Kick back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Now I'm going to sit up super tall. Another great way that I can work my row here is to work on my posture. Drive your the elbows right into the ribs. Exhale, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Let's just do a quick little tricep here. From the knees, you can also do it from standing. I'm going to do it from the knees because if I stand up, I might not be able to see my hands here in the screen. All right, so from here, guys, nice deep breath here. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to take my hands and my palms are faced away from me to start. Then I flip it over and the band here is between the thumb and the first finger and it comes directly behind. You could be standing here as well with both feet in the middle of the band. You're gonna exhale it up, inhale it down. One, two, are your wrists nice and straight? Three and four, are those abs pulled in tight? Five, six, seven, don't shrug your shoulders. Eight, nine, let's do 10 pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze it up there. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest it out, roll the shoulders back. Let's just do one more for good luck here, okay? One more time for those triceps, you guys. They're like the inner thigh, they just need a little more attention sometimes. Up for two, one, two, down for two. Exhale, two, you can interlace your hands. Three, you could glue them together. Four, or you could keep them separated. Five, six, Seven, elbow pivot point, eight, two, nine, two, one more. 10 little pulses to finish strong. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, pop it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Let's go ahead here. We're gonna pat ourselves on the back. I'm gonna reach from here, my left hand behind. Pat myself on the back and really open up my tricep. Again, I could be standing. Now I'm going to take that arm, pull it across my chest, and then open up the shoulder and roll the wrist. Feeling that nice big stretch here all along the arm. I'm going to rewind it the other way. Now I'm going to pat myself on the back, drive that elbow in, nice deep breath in without shrugging my shoulders. Deep breath in. Feel that space here in that tricep. Inhale. Exhale, bring it across. Tuck it in and feel that space coming all the way down your arm. You can add that little bit of a roll to your wrist. A little bit of a rewind. Now if I'm still on my knees and come forward in my lunge position, Feel that nice space in my leg. We're going to go out here and lengthen and reach for the sky. Deep breath in. Now I can open up my heart here and spread my wings in a nice cactus arm. I'm going to come to a prayer position. Rotate over my bent knee here and stretch out that back. Open up and lengthen here, contracting my quadricep, opening up my hamstring, adding a nice rotation. Now from here, Right arm on top comes behind my back, left arm on my leg, rotates down. I'm trying to look behind me. Big inhale. Return back to prayer. Back up. Now I'm going to switch feet. So I'm going to drop this knee and switch to the other side. Okay? Now I can stay down like this. I can have this rotation like this. Comfortable? Open and lengthen. Feel that nice big stretch here and reach for the sky. Opening up here through your hip flexor. Cactus arms. 
opening the heart. Elbows together, rotating over the bent knee. Trying to really rotate here using the elbow as a lever. Now from your left arm behind my back, right arm down the leg, adding a little bit of a twist and rotation, looking gently 45 degrees behind me. Return back to my prayer. As I come back to the center, I'm gonna step my back foot up. Very good, now from here, open up those hips. Wonderful job, rewind it. Take from here and open up, inhale, exhale, and then bring it forward. We're gonna take three big breaths here. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Drive that energy right into the heart center. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Now think of all the blessings in your life. Reach for the sky. Pull them here right into your heart center and let the rest of the, those things go that don't serve you. Take a deep breath in, gently bow your head. Namaste and have an amazing day today, you guys. Great job.